Hey everybody, welcome back to the end game for Key Flower the Farmers. And oh, you'll have to forgive me because this is going to be a little bit painful, I think. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the last round, there's so much to think about, so much planning. But before we get into it, uh, quick, you might have been screaming at the screen earlier in the extended playthrough and you said, breed your sheep, breed your sheep, because I forgot to do it twice. Um, in between this, I went back and checked the tape for the at the end of summer and the end of fall where I'd forgotten to breed. And so you'll notice I actually, I and I said it right, so I actually have quite a few more sheep now than I did before. Because um, I just totally forgot two rounds in a row. I got everything set up and I just forgot to have them breed. And because of that, because I'd forgotten how many sheep, I actually went back and retro. Remember uh, at the end of fall, I had gotten the piggery just because I could just because it was sitting there and it was easy to get. I undid that and instead I got the sheep shelter because I could have gotten that just as easily and I put it over here. Because I realized once I had all those sheep, and if I'd been thinking about it, I would have realized, I've got all these sheep, I have too many sheep. I don't want more pigs, I want the sheep shelter to store them. And so that's why I got the sheep shelter instead of the piggery. Sorry about having to retrofit it, but it just would have been smarter if I had remembered to breed my sheep. I would have been reminded then, yes, of course you should get the sheep shelter, much more important than the piggery. Right, okay. So anyway, but otherwise, oh, and also I had forgotten to, for Jen to breed her um, two sheep and the, the pigs that she had over there. So she got a little, oh, and she's got these guys over here as well. Okay, and so we are now ready to start winter, the final year. Like I said, these boats, whoever gets this boat gets a point for every, uh, you know, for their biggest loop, for every town their biggest loop. Whoever gets this one gets one for their transport. Now, interestingly, in this game, not much transport came out. We both... Either of us could have bought this in the first round, but we let it go, and this would have been worth either one or three transport, and that would have made this worth more, but neither of us got it. So I don't think either of us are gonna bid on this because it's worth one, maybe two points if we upgrade our home. And Jen, I was kind of dumb when I was playing Jen. I was expecting, oh yeah, on the last turn, I would turn this big loop, I'd put something here, but I forgot that these final scoring tiles, they don't have double roads. So if Jen got this, she would not be able to close that loop. So this is not particularly interesting for Jen. She doesn't have a good loop. And I, actually I was so dumb, I don't think either of us have, we each have a loop of three. So this is only worth three points to us, that's only worth one. So I don't think either of us are gonna bid on this. This is interesting, because whoever gets this, if they've got some place they can put it legal, then they can get a point for everything that's around it. But you really have to build with that in mind. So I wouldn't be able to put this legally here, again, because of the roads, or here. This means it'd only be worth one point, because it's only next to one space. Um, and this I can't do because of the water. And Jen, I don't think she's much better. She can't put it there because of that road, or there, or there, or there. So I don't think either of us are going to bid on any of those things. Except for maybe this, just to get the... Uh, the two gold on the final turn. But, because you know, gold is worth a point. So really, I guess, strictly speaking, getting the two gold plus putting an X, this is worth three points, this is worth three points, this is worth one point, maybe two points. So I think it's gonna be more interesting to find out what each of us put out. Remember, because we've been carrying these from the beginning of the game. And so, let's see. Now, which of these am I gonna do? I'm definitely gonna put out this, because I want, I have all these sheep, I wanna score three per sheep meadow instead of one. So that's gonna go into the mix. Let's see, and I remember I've got all this, uh, you know, I'm gonna be able to generate some more gold here. I've got all this gold. All that gold combined is gonna be able to make me a big golden monument. So I definitely want that to go in the mix. This one, I don't think so. This is a, a hay, a resource, and a tool gets four points. I'm gonna use all this hay to get all my sheep moved around. So I don't think I'll have much use for it. And, I don't th and I'm gonna use these three tools I've got to try to upgrade my cow shed and get 10 points there. So I don't think I'm gonna put this out because it won't benefit me much and I don't wanna take the chance of Jen benefiting from it. So that'll go. And then the hillside, see, will I put this out? I think I will because I actually have a pretty good spot. If I put this here, the hillside is a new one that's in the farm. It's a really cool one. Basically, if you put it down, you have to put it down legally, and then wherever you put it, you get one point for every adjoined tile based on fields. So from here spreading, it'd be all of these tiles, because this, this field spreads all the way over here, and all of these tiles, because this, so this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So the hillside's actually pretty good for me, six points if I get that. So these are the three I'm putting in. But um, let's see, and now Jen, where are hers, right? Here's her four. What is she putting in? She, I think she's gonna make a go of trying to get, she's got so many workers, so many more than me. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, to my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She thinks she could really clean up on this, so she's definitely putting that in. 
and she just, she'll just have to get some greens. But remember, she's first player, so she can control her green space pretty nicely. Alrighty. Now, Jen has no cows. She has no mean to make cows, but I do. So she's not going to put this in because it would only benefit me. This, she never got around. She only has a couple of grains. So I don't think she's going to really put that in because it will probably benefit me. And then pigs. She has, oh, no, this is good. She has pigs. And I don't. So she will put that in. Alright. And now, so you're supposed to, everybody puts them in face down. They get shuffled. Oh, I forget. Is there a weird thing about adding another one randomly? Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, because you're not supposed to know who put in what. Because, I mean, in theory, so, you know, although it's generally pretty obvious who wants what of these, but you want to be secretive about it. Let's see. Was, I forget. Was there some weird thing? End of season. At the end of winter, there are no new workers. Player who won the bid takes or uh, Player who won. Player, then, in clockwise order, player who did not win uh, sucks a boat. And then... Uh, this house. Right. Wait, what about the thing about? Oh, maybe it's over here. Production bidding. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Start of season. All right. In winter, each player selects one or more of their tiles. Um, they receive in the setup phase. On their turn, a player places one or more. Um, all right. Uh, in setup phase, the number of tiles selected are then revealed simultaneously um, and placed still face down. Why am I thinking that there was, I mean, man, maybe it was some variant somebody came up with. But anyway, so these are all the tiles we've added. All right. And in a two-player game, of course, you know who added what. I th that's why I thought I read somewhere. I can't re didn't recall that you put in some random ones too, but whatever. So these are all the things that are out here, and now we're just finding out for the first time. So this is kind of, I've got one green guy. This might be interesting to me, but it's only three points, unless I can get some more greens out of Jen, so I probably... It's probably not good for me. Jen's like, oh, this hillside. Does she have a good place to put it? She can't put it there. She can put it here. And see, so that'd be one. See, actually, I don't think she is built in a way that would actually benefit her much. That's all closed off. Yeah, so this hillside's not particularly good for her. This uh, Imperium's not particularly good for me. The Weaver, she knows this is a big deal for me. This is score me a lot of points. She doesn't have very many sheep. She might try to fight me for this anyway just because she doesn't want me to really benefit from my sheep. The truffle, um, this is obviously I know it's better for her because it'll really bump up her score. And then the monument, she knows this is good for me because I've got a lot more goods than her. So anyway, let the bidding begin. This is the final turn. Um, everything works pretty much the same. And Jen is first because she forgot the first player marker. Now what does she want to do? I think the first thing, she, she, um, she does not want to give me a chance of getting more greens like I did last turn um, because then uh, it, might bend, it might bump her out of the Imperium. So she is going to move in on her own store first so she can start producing some blues. So she's going to send here, which means she gets rid of a blue to get a green. All right, that's her first turn. All right, my turn. Now, I got a whole bunch of sheep I need to move around because at the end of the game, I will, oh, but I also want this, I want to get this. See, what am I strong in? I know Jen's got a lot more because she picked up more people than me. I know she's got more. I don't know exactly what she's got, but I know she's got more. And I do not want to miss this. This is the most important. These two are the most important to me. I don't want to miss either of those. But I don't have very many workers at all. This is going to be scary. Um, but let's go on ahead and... I'll start with two so that she'll be less likely to bid me up on it because I'm a little bit worried about it. I mean, I'd start with the green, but I know that she might, um, she's got a green, and she's got the means to get greens. Although, actually, she'd have to, maybe I don't, because I know she doesn't want to use her greens because she's going to want to go for this. So maybe I should go here with my green because that would be, if I know she's going to try and take this, it'd be way too wasteful for her to waste a green trying to take that weaver for me. So I'm going to go there. So I've, I've definitely nailed that. I've definitely got that. I'm very confident that she will not try to waste greens on it. Okay, so it's her turn again. Right, so she's already started on that. Um, she knows that was the only green I had. So now she uses her other green somewhere else. But remember, she wants to have greens left over so she can trade them in on this Emporium. So she will do an opening bid of, let's see. These are the two most important things to her. Does she bid two? Well, she knows... Uh, she knows I didn't pick up any blues. She knows that because she saw I didn't pick very many up. So she's going to assume she's safe in putting a single blue down there on that. All right, me. All right. 
Now I need to I need to spend workers out here to move stuff around to do my best scoring. I need to do an upgrade to get 10 points off this cow shed. I need to do a lot of movement to shift these sheep sheep around so they'll give me the most points. Now that I'm confident I'm going to get my weaver, which means I have to activate this. All right, but I still want to get that monument too. All right, I'm going to take I'm just going to I'm going to take a gamble and put a single and hope Jen doesn't bid me up on it. We'll see what happens. Okay. Now Jen, she wants more greens, so she's going to put two reds down here. So that's why I use my red over here because I figured it's more important for her to use her reds down here than fight me on this monument because she wants to get more greens because she wants that. Right, so and she did. She put two reds, which lets her get rid of another blue to get another green. And now she's got two greens she could imply towards that emporium. All right, my turn again. All right, so, so far I haven't lost those. Now I'm going to start working in my own space because these are the main things I hope to get. We'll see if I get anything else, but I, I, I got to spend some workers down here. Oops, that guy's left over. I had one more worker than I thought. Hooray. All righty. So I need to upgrade this for 10 points. I need to spend a lot of movement. I'm going to send all this hay to move all these sheep around so that they can spread out and also get over into the sheep shelter and maybe even pick up a couple more sheep and get them in the sheep shelter because every additional sheep I get is two points in the sheep shelter. I like saying sheep shelter, don't I? But let's see. So, right, I got four in this field. Nothing in here. I got the cow there. I've got a field over here. Let's see. So what empty fields do I have? One, two, three, four. So I've got four empty fields that I got to get sheep into. Five, five. Here's one here as well. Five empty fields that I got to get sheep into to um, maximize the weaver. And I've got five wheat. So that should be enough. So let's go on ahead. I will use a yellow and I will activate this. And remember, I get to spend one movement. So let's spend that one movement now. I will move a sheep. And the way, no, the way movement of, oh, I haven't done it up yet. The way the movement of livestock works is you spend, you know, um, if, if, if a sheep, you know, a sheep can move anywhere on the pasture for free. But to move from one pasture to another costs one movement. So, you know, th these sheep, I could consider this sheep in any of these three tiles. And so if I say, if I wanted to consider this sheep right here in this tile, I could then spend one to move it from this pasture to this pasture, which is on the same tile. And then I could consider this sheep anywhere in here. So that's how movement of livestock works. It's, it's a really interesting and clever way to do it. So I'm going to spend one. So let's have this guy and just move over here. So that was one. And so and I've got a sheep over here. And that means this guy's gonna score, this field is gonna score one point. But hopefully if I get the weaver, it'll score three points. That was one. Now I'm gonna get rid of a wheat, or a, because I can use every one of these I use gives me another movement point. So I'm using a second movement point. And let's move this sheep um, you know, from on this tile from this pasture to this pasture. Alright, so that was no. Now I'm gonna spend another wheat. And I'm gonna move this sheep from this pasture to this pasture, all right? And let's spend another wheat. And let's see, now these sheep are in this little central area, but I can consider them to be on this tile. So I'm gonna spend another wheat to move from this pasture to this pasture. And then let's spend another wheat, oh wait, yes, to move this sheep from this pasture to this pasture. Now this is a big pasture, it covers a lot of space. So this one sheep has all this space to roam. This sheep's in this little tiny place. This cow is here, this sheep's here. There's two sheep in this pasture. There's two sheep in this pasture. But remember, you only need one sheep or any livestock to score. Having extra ones is wasteful. So there's one in this one, there's one in this big one, there's one in this one, there's one in this one, and now there's three in this one. Now, I've got one more wheat, so I'm gonna spend it to move one of these sheep into the shelter. And so that means I've scored a bonus point. You know, these three in here basically count as one point. You know, even though there's three of them, they only count as one point, ultimately three points. But now that I've moved it in here, um, it's basically scored me an extra point. And you know, I might get some, you know, depending on how things go, I might get myself some more wheat so that I could get some, so I can move some more. Because I've got one, two, three, four more sheep that are just wasting space that I should move into the shelter if I can move more. So anyway, that was my move. I, oh wait, oh, and I'm going to upgrade as well. So that was just my movement. Now I'm going to upgrade and I'm going to get rid of these three skills and I'm going to convert this cow shed into a, ten, a one point cow shed, or what was it, a, a, a zero point cow shed into a 10 point Cow shed, very nice. No cows there, but 10 points. All right, so that was my next move from that one guy. Back to Jen's turn. Now, what is she gonna do? She wants to get one, oh no. She wants to get one more, but, 
All right, well, let's see. She is going to then activate her storyteller and hopefully draw another red. Come on, give me a red. I got a blue. All right, well, she could try to get some more because she really wants one more green so she could get a triple out of the Emporium instead of a double. But, you know, it's actually interesting. I mean, they, you know, uh, so under some circumstances, you, you're kind of like drawing for the best, hoping for the right colors, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, so, anyway, and she got, um, you know, she basically, right, okay. So that's what she did. Back to me, back to my turn. I've done my big, <laughs> silly movement stuff. But if I could get some, right, see. Right. Now I'm hoping I'll build the monument. Is there anything else I want to upgrade? I could upgrade this wheat field and get three points. And then if I get, I get three wheat, I'd have an easier time moving sheep into the shelter. Because ultimately I'm going to put two more yellows on here to um, activate this again. Because I already put one yellow. So I have to put two more yellows out to move some more sheep around. So. Oh. When I move the sheep around, I could upgrade this. And then, but then I wouldn't get the wheat. It'd be too late. Oh. So I've already upgraded that. I could upgrade this itself, but no, I want these, or oh, I want somebody over here for more gold for my monument. So I'll put a red guy here, and that gets me three gold. One, two, three. And now hopefully I'll have a very nice monument. And now back to Jen's turn. And now here's where Jen starts putting the knife in. She can see how well I'm going to do on that monument, and she says, uh-uh, boom. Now, she, even though she... Well, she could build a little bit of a monument. She's got two goals, so she could get a little. She get four points out of it. But she knows if I get it, I'll get twelve points. So she has just outbid me. But she doesn't know I've got two more reds. Do I want to give up two reds to get twelve points, or do I let her have that and get let her get four points? Although again, I um. Oh man. Yep, I'm gonna have to. Wow. Okay, so there we go. So she just made me pay for that dearly to get my monument. And meanwhile, and I can't do anything because I have no blues. I cannot raise her on that Emporium. All right. Anyway, so back to her. Okay. Right. She wants this truffle as well. I totally forgot about that. So she's going to go on ahead and... Oops. Sorry. This was... I put this on her. This, that was her. She bid there. She's going to put this over here and try to get a truffle Emporium. And now I'm like, I have no pigs, but... Right now, th this pig in, th in these pigs in this field and this pig in this field, pigs are worth two. So this is four points for these two pig fields. This will suddenly go from four points to ten points if she gets that. So do I want to raise her? I think I will. I'm going to raise her on it because I assume she'll outbid me and then I can take these two and put them over here and activate this, which I need to do for more upgrades anyway. So now she's like, oh, really? Well, she'll raise me on the truffle. So, you know, all this interplay based on plans is crazy. Okay, so it's my turn again. And I've only got one guy left to place. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna place this guy over here to get some more wheat, because I'm gonna need more wheat to move more livestock around. So any way I could get more wheat? Nope, that's the best I could do. I didn't get a chance to upgrade it. All right, now it's Jen's turn again. She is gonna place um, two yellows in here to try and get another worker, because she is hoping. Oh wait, no she can't. Because I made, I, she raised me with this red, so she couldn't get another red. She can't get another green anyway. So that's denied her. She cannot get any more green workers. So she's not going to worry about that. But she's still got all these guys. She can still activate a lot of stuff. She hasn't moved her pigs around to spread them around. She's definitely got that locked in. She's got that locked in. Now she could, if she wants to, she could try to take the weaver from me. And she knows she could take it. And she should think about that now. If she does this, it means she will be giving up her green. She won't be able to take that Emporium. That Emporium would be worthless to her. But right now, if she lets me have that Weaver, it's going to be worth what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Eight times two. That's worth 16 points to me if she lets me have that Weaver. Because I've spread my sheep around so well now. They're in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe even nine. She can't let me do it. She's, she's only giving up since she's, she's crapped out the most she can get in her Emporium. She's giving that up. She won't score much of it, but she's preventing me from having this huge, huge end score. And that kills me. That really, oh man. I don't have any more greens. I can't get a green. So Jen has prevented me, and so this guy comes off. So now I've got this guy and this guy and these. So I've still got three more moves I can make. Wow. Shoot. Well, I've still got my monument. I think Jen can't kick me out of that. 
Oh my, wow. Well, oh, I still want the hillside. Right, so let's go on ahead and pull these two yellows out of here. No, those yellows come over here. Let's pull this one green out and get the hillside because that's worth more to me. Jen's not gonna fight me on that. All right, so now it's her turn again. Right, and she hasn't even started doing her stuff on her own. And she's still got all these workers, oh my gosh. Right, so she's, she made me pay for the monument. She's got the weaver, which she doesn't care about. But she still, she wants to spread these, if she spreads these sheep around, the weaver won't be bad. She will score some points for it. She's got this truffle thing, which is important to her. All right, and she's got her important, which is useless to her now because she gave up all her greens and she can't get any more. So she needs to start spreading her animals around now so that she will benefit from the weaver and the, uh, the truffle orchard as best she can. So it's time for her to start activating her home zone. And she's got more blues than yellows, so she'll be able to do it more. So she's going to activate with a single blue. And now that means she gets one movement, but really she gets three because she's got two hay. Actually, should she, should she get some more hay first? She can send these two yellows over here to get two hay from me, but she can get one hay for herself or over there. That's right, she's only got two hay, so that means she gets three movement. But then she could go again. Hmm. All right, what does she need to do? Let's look at this here. All right, so this pig is fine. She needs to move two of these pigs out. One of the pigs needs to come in here. That'll cost her one movement. And then the other pig, it's going to cost her two movement to get over there. Unless she puts a, no, she doesn't have to. She could put a sheep over here. So it'd be one to move a pig air, one to move a sheep here, one to move a sheep here and here, and then, uh, and then two for a pig there. Wow. She does not have, she would really need some more hay to get the best, the best spread of her animals, and she just doesn't have any. So I guess, let's see, what's she about to pull off? She's about to pull off all these reds. No, no, she's about to pull off those reds. Uh... What would she activate with those reds? Oh, I totally forgot. She needs to activate this and move the, the stone or the ore over there to upgrade that. I think, it's, I think time's up on that. I don't think she has a chance to do that. That's, that's 10 points, but she can get a lot more if she can spread those animals around well. But the more hay she has, the more she can spread. Okay, yeah. She is going to put a single yellow here and activate her farmyard, which gives her another sheep and a tool and a hay. So she's got one more hay for moving. She's got one more tool, which ironically in this game, she doesn't need. Sometimes you get in things, which will give you a lot of points for tools. But right now she's got all these tools and she has no use for them. Other than, oh, well she could use it to upgrade that zone. Um, yeah, anyway, though. but, oh, and she could use it to upgrade that zone. Oh, she already has upgraded that zone. Anyway, so she doesn't want to, she's getting a sheep. She got the hay. Now she's going to put this sheep over here. So she doesn't need to move anything into this into that field. So, and she got the hay and she got a tool. I already got that. All right. So that was her next move. My turn. I got no more to place. I've got these two guys to pull off. I've got these reds and these yellows. Right. So the yellows were going to let me move around some more and do another upgrade. Okay. Right. So that means I uh, see now, do I have an upgrade I can do? Yes, I can. I can do this and get three points. But that means, yes, okay, yeah, that's, okay. So I've, I, I have one, two, three movement, I get to move stuff around. So I'm just trying to move stuff into, so here's one, two into the sheep shelter, and then three so that that field is occupied again. Nice, okay. Then, so that was my three movement, and now I'm gonna do an upgrade. And remember, I moved this ore over here a million years ago to upgrade the wheat field, I'm finally gonna do it. Everybody, so you go there. You guys get off of that. So that ore goes away, and I upgrade my weed field, which is worth three points, not bad. And this guy is back on here to indicate. And so finally, now if I use it, I get three, but it's too late for that. All right, so I did an upgrade. I did movement. I got some more guys into the shelter. Hello, Baba Sheep. And um, I think every field now, uh, this field is covered, that field is covered, this field is covered. All right, and I've got all this stuff for my monument. All right, so that was my move. Jen's move again. All right, so she's got, let's see. And she can't get any more hay, but now she can do another uh, move upgrade thing. Right, so what is she gonna do? She's gotta move her stuff around. Oh, she's so complicated. All right, so she has three, four movement, three hay plus one, so four movement. That's one, two, 
three, and one more. Can you move anything over here? Ah, she needs one more. Could she, is there any way she could get hay? No, she can't. I forgot, she didn't get two hay from this. She has two more hay from that. I totally forgot about that. So she actually has two more hay. So one, two, three. So there's the three we've spent. Um, oh, gracious. Four, five. So there we go. Totally forgot this boat was supposed to go. I might have forgotten that twice, but I think I only forgot it once. Um, but anyway, that she got extra hay off of that. So she might even have two more, but we'll just let it go. All right, because that was my, uh, you know, obviously I'll add notes. But anyway, so now this um, whole little, what you call it, so that, so there's still nothing in this field or that field or that field, unfortunately, but still, it's about the best you can do. My turn again. I've got no more to place. These guys, there's, no, wait, no, they outbid. Right, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I pass. There's nothing more I can do. And now Jen, she's still got two guys plus this guy that she could pull off of here where she was outbid. So she's still got three more actions. What could she do? What will help her? Hmm. If she could just move some more, she could activate to get the, the stuff. But then, I mean, but she wouldn't have enough to move them all over there to do that upgrade. She needs more hay, once again, if she had, but even still now, although, interestingly, nope, I was gonna say, she could use my own building to, to just do her own transport, but she would need to have three yellow guys to put on there, and she doesn't have them. Basically, this is what she's got. She's got this, that has to go as a pair. She's got three actions she can do. And I'm honestly really not quite sure. It's gonna be this. There's just no other options to move. She already um, upgraded, or did she upgrade when she did all this? I've totally forgotten. No, I don't think she did. Right, and when I activated this, all I did was move stuff around. So, while she was at it, she also upgraded her key mine, finally. Should have done that to get three more points. Right, so still, what can she do? She can't put anything there, can't put anything there, can't put anything there. No. All right, so she's gotta think about what can she put over on my side of the world. Interestingly enough. Right, so she could come over here and she could say, let's get two sheep. And she, now because they're coming from mine, they have to go into her hometown, which means she can put them on this side and now she has put animals into this pasture. So that is a scoring pasture too. I've already passed, I can't do anything more. What else can, can she do in my side, in my neck of the woods? Oh my gosh, she could have come over here. She could have gotten another Wheat. No. Oh, interestingly. Ah, you know what? Instead of coming over there to get the two sheep that she could have put in that space. <gasps> oh, yes, she could. Yeah. All right. So she came over there and she put two sheep in this space. This is an empty field as well. So now she is going to send her double red over here to my cow shed and generate my upgraded cow shed and generate two cows. And she'll put one here, so now this field is at, is populated. Uh, now the only part is way over here and she can't get anything over there because she can't move anymore. So she'll just put them both there. And now she's got one more action. What else could she do in my space? She could come over here. Nope, she can't put, so she literally, she can't put this blue any place else. Yeah, so she's gonna pass. I don't think there's any other action. Well, she could go here, what else? She'll just go here and she'll generate three ore. Not that she can use it for anything, but just so she'll have it. Um, right, and now she passes. That's it, we are done. So now, um, I got a hillside, I'm putting it over here. Cause that'll have the maximum reach. I see Jen got the Emporium, she has to put this someplace. Oh, interestingly, we totally forgot to bid for those things. Oh, she could have, right, okay, she didn't go for that ore, that was silly. She did not go for that ore. For her last thing, she bid and she got the Bastion. Right, so she got that, silly me. Right, so, so she got the Bastion, I got the Monument, she got the Weaver, and she got the Truffle Orchard. Yeah, all those workers really benefited her on that last turn. Right, so now, I've already put my, so where am I gonna put this Monument? 
Um, someplace legal, I hope. How about right there? Oh, is there a place I can, yes, I'll put it here because then that becomes part of my hillside, so my hillside scores another point, the hillside where my monument is. You can see that's legal. Now, Jen's got a bunch of stuff to put down, and it matters a little bit because this bastion will reward her. Now, but again, she cannot make this loop because none of these are U-turns. Wow. She can't make that loop either. So she's got this little loop here. Can she make any other loops? I don't think she can. She needs a U-turn for, well, maybe, hold on a second, hold on a second, let's look at this. And these are all dead ends. Every one of these is a dead end. So, yeah, she can't make another loop. So she'll just put them, oh dear. Where can she put this? Oh no. Well, no, she can always just go like that. She doesn't have to match them up to the roads. And she's gonna make this little dead end right there. A path between her emporium and her weaver that goes nowhere. Because uh, that is legal because, yeah, she didn't break any road rules. Oh no, actually, she could put it over here at least. Right. And she can't put that any place because I just, oh wait, oh, she can put it here. There we go. Now it's a nice, complete road that makes sense. And now, unfortunately, she can't move anything around anymore to, you know, potentially, because she's just made some more fields and whatnot. But anyway, so that's it. So she's got all her stuff. Right, and now at the end of the turn, right, so these, none of these got picked up. Nobody grabbed the first player, which means, right, who's got it now? Does it transfer automatically? That is important. I forgot, totally forgot about that. Um, I think in a two-player game, it automatically transfers. All right, who gets that purple? Uh, if no player bid on the turn order tile with the start player, after all the players have taken their workers and skill tiles, player with the start player, there you go. Okay, so it does. So this moved back over to me, so I got that. And now the thing is, this little guy is a wild card. It can be used for anything. It can be used for a sheep. It can be used for another good, etc., etc. It can be used for another wheat, whatever. So, all right, so now we have to, and so that's it. Nobody took that. Uh, all right, so now we have to do final scoring. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be painful. All right, I'm gonna to totally get this math wrong. You just have to forgive me, but let's go on ahead and figure out. So now all of these things are gonna come over here to this monument. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're all gonna get used for the monument. And so that means I've done that three times, so I've made 12 points there. Um, this hillside gets, uh, you know, it's everything that's connected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven plus 12 is 19. There's three in this, so 22. Right now, and um, 22. 23. And with, I guess I say this is a gold, so that's 24. Let's just say that. So 24. And, right. 24, and now Jen got that sheep upgrade, so every one of my pairs of sheep is only one point. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 33, 1, 3, 2, 33, 34, 35, 36 for this cow, 36, 46, 47, 48, 49, um, 49, 56, uh, 56, 50, uh, 61, so I think that was a total of 61 points. I'm sure I got that all wrong, but let's just say it's 61 points. Um, and like I said, Jen having gotten that really hurt me. Now let's come over to Jen, let's see what she's got. Right, so she got nothing from this Emporium because she gave up her greens to stop me from getting my huge score. I forgot what I, well that was, some, I was 60 something, right, see. So now Jen, her truffle orchard is five times every truffle orchard she has. So that's one, two, three, four. So this is 20 points. The weaver is three times her sheep, so 20, one, two, three, four, five. That's five fields with sheep. Five times three is 15. So that's 35 just based off of these two tiles. 35. Um, let's see, what else did she get? Uh, oh wait, oh wait, 35, uh, 37, 38 for the cows. Because the cows are worth three, no upgrades. Nobody got that. Uh, right, she didn't get that, did she? Right. So 35, that's 38. Uh, 39, 40, 41, 48. What the heck? Uh, 49, 50, 51. Wow, did I still win anyway? Am I missing something? I think I might have won. Uh, I think I've added, although I, I'm, I can't really be sure. But anyway, 50-ish to 60-ish, something like that. And there is your end scoring, sorry. I mean, with, with these, uh, um, 
but with these multipliers off the livestock gen, I've actually found we actually need to get out pen and paper and write down because there's so many opportunities for scoring now. Um, and it's, it's obviously, as you can see, it got very close. But I think even without my big scoring thing between the monument and just having spread these sheep out all over the place, and the I was very aggressive about upgrading like this 10 pointer and whatnot, I think I might have won anyway. But I'm just going to let it go there um, because I'm sure I've made so many mistakes now. This was more about just giving you a sense for what it feels like to make it all the way to the end of a game of Key Flower and do that final scoring and see your plans having come through to fruition if your opponent didn't scupper those plans. Right. Because, you know, Jen, she's got all these workers, but they went back to her home, and I've got all these, but they weren't worth diddly squat because Jen didn't have any greens, even though she got the Emporium. And so by themselves, you know, I mean, excess resources, unless it's gold, is worth nothing unless you've got a point scoring thing that makes it worth something. Like, um, well, this, these gold would have all been worth one, but because I converted them with the monument, they were worth, um, you know, uh, basically three a pop. Or no, two a pop. Uh, my sheep were still worth a lot. Yeah. Wow. I five times four is 20. And then the sheep, one, two, three, four, five, 15 times t 35. Uh, 38. Yeah, I think. Right, okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop it there and let you guys go to Final Thoughts before my brain explodes. This, by the way, folks, is the reason I generally don't play all the way through because it is so hard to figure out these final moves and do them smart and then actually add up all this stuff. I just normally don't do a play all the way through because I'll embarrass myself, as I'm sure I've done here. But even still, hopefully you have a pretty good idea of what Key Flower and Key Flower, the farmers, plays like all the way through. So now you can go to Final Thoughts in 5, 4, 3, 2, one.